because one day you'll never expect, you know. You just smoke a little weed and then you see it going around at a party and once you try it at a party it's over. Once you even, you know, once you see a buddy doing it, it's like, hey, well he's doing it, he doesn't look so bad, but it takes control. It totally, totally grabs you by the ball. I looked at selling drugs as a job. It was my mm -hmm. job to sell drugs and I did it really good. You owed me money, I had a collection agency. Called them the duct tape brigade. They'll kick in your door, duck, wrap you up with duct tape and bring you to me. If there was anybody I gave meth to, they wouldn't walk away. I wouldn't let them. I, there was no way. That's, that's money coming out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. And if they tried, slip it in their coat. Here, here's a coat, you know. They get all high and whoa. Mm -hmm. People's money from their kids, they had no food. I don't care. You owe me money for my, my drug. And I needed that money so I can get my drug. And if you didn't have it, I'm taking whatever you got. TV, VCR, car. You didn't have none of that. I'm taking your wife. I know somebody will give me some money for it. I was like to tell you, I was a ruthless person. I didn't care. Running away, sleeping with people who I didn't even know, and ending up doing stuff that I didn't want to, but I did. The drugs. I've been kidnapped. I've been beat up. The baby inside of me didn't, you know, didn't help my addiction. And I used my whole pregnancy. I was walking out of the building, me and another lady, and we were attacked by four men. Um, I was brutally beaten, raped, and stabbed. I almost died. You know, once you're wearing gold chain and you're just chilling, you know, in the high schools and stuff. You look cool, you look bad now. Big look bad, at us. Know, checking out. So you have your lady sitting next to you, you probably have some dope in your pocket. You think you're bad now, wait, wait till you get caught. And then look at us, we're in orange. That lady, that lady's that dressed next to you, she, she ain't gonna be right there. She's not gonna be there. Don't worry. And all your friends, all your little homies who are at your back, your skin off. Perspective is it prison or death? Yep. Uh, prison or death. And most of the time it's death. Yeah. Depending upon your body average, it will only take one to four uses and you're addicted. Well, it's one of those things where if you're willing to do it once, what's twice? No big deal. Then once you start, you can't slow down. It's not worth it. None of it's worth it. It's here, but it is just everywhere, and it's easy to come by. It's cheap, and, and it, it'll kill and destroy people. I think. It was horrible, you know. I went to rehab. You know. You have bubble, and thank you. Uh, I. You can't, you, you, can't, you can't do recovery, you can't be in recovery without professional counseling. I don't care what anybody says, No, nobody can, can kick the drug on their own sheer willpower. There is no way. It doesn't matter how many rehabs you go to, I feel like you have to have God in your life. I mean, I do, you can't do it by yourself. You have tried to get sober on my own. I've gone to AA, I've gone to NA, and I, you know what, the Lord has set me free from all that addiction, and He's changed my way of thinking. Actually, um, the best investment in life is investing in yourself. And and I think a lot of people are just really uneducated about it. They don't you know, parents need to educate themselves, you know. Parents need to see what the signs are. Um, the postman needs to see what the signs are. Um, the police officer needs to see what that sign is. Um, um, the restaurant owner needs to know what the sign is because the core problem of extensive drug use really does destroy families in New Mexico.